Ciampione, Mary, thanks for being with us. How are you doing? Uh, thank you for having me. Yeah, good, good. Um, flew straight out on holiday, so I'm going to get some rest over here after a heavy couple of days. Yeah, well-deserved rest as well. But I'm sure you'll still, still keep the party and going. You are a champion now. Look, just talk us through how that felt winning that trophy. It, was, it, was a, it must have felt like a long tournament, a tough tournament, but you played very well and you guys came away with a win. Thank you. Yeah, I think the team was, was fantastic. Um, I think obviously been working really hard preparing um, and it and it felt like a, a, a long time of preparing for for such a short whirlwind. Um, I, honestly, I loved every minute of it, um, and I'm so glad that we walked away with gold. Tell us about that preparation then, because obviously there's been a lot of credit given to uh, your manager Serena Weigman. Um, how does she prepare you guys for something like this? I mean, she's a she's a pro at it. She won with the Dutch uh, last time around, and now she's done it with you guys. Yeah, I, I mean, she's obviously very, very good at what she does. Um, I, I think her the biggest thing that she she brought in was a real um, honesty and directness, transparency. Um, but it also came with a lot of calmness. There was never, you know, you never see her overly emotional about things, um, which is probably a little bit crazy. As, a, as an English person, I think we're really obviously passionate people. Um, and I think Serena is passionate, but in a, in a really controlled way, um, which I think just helped keep the group quite level um, and really task focused. Um, so yeah, brilliant. I mean, that's really interesting, isn't it? Because that is kind of management style. You're a United player, and obviously we know all about hair dry treatment that uh, used to be a management <laughs> style for some. So keeping cool, keeping calm, it gives you guys the confidence, doesn't it? To just go out there and do your job and do it to the best of your ability. Yeah, I think that's the most important thing really is making sure that we're staying focused on on the job that we came to do because it, it's really hard in, in a tournament when the games are coming thick, or fa thick and fast um, and you're just, you know, you're going from like a match day minus one training, a match day minus two training. Um, and I think it's really important that um, you, you stay super, super in it, super present. Um, and I think that was really the focus. Um, and I was really conscious personally um, of enjoying every second because it's been a difficult couple of years and I think to to be in it, you just want to remember every every single feeling that you had in it. I, I, I kept saying to my family, like, if I could bottle this feeling, oh, my God, it would just be unreal. I just want to drink from that, drink from that bottle of water every day. <laughs> Can you describe what that feeling is like? I mean, look, you're playing the biggest tournament of your life in your home country. The whole country is behind you. And you're doing really well. It's not like you're failing. You're doing really well. So, like, the pressure must be building. What is that like? I don't think I've ever experienced anything like it, really. Oh, I've got some good facials on those pictures, haven't I? Wow. Um, You've got hands on, don't worry. Think... hands on that ball. It's nice. <laughs> That's all that matters. I don't care. Exactly. I don't care about the face as long as the ball's out the back of the net. I'm happy. Um, yeah, I think, you know what, we work really hard to try and keep the noise out as much as possible, uh, which is obviously quite difficult to do. Um, with, with the fact that we were hosting the tournament as well. Um, but we all made a lot of sacrifices. Um, I even left the family WhatsApp group, made sure that I, we kept as much noise out of it as possible. No means, nothing. Uh, I, did, you know, I didn't want to see anything. I just wanted to be really in it with the girls um, because the girls are great. The group so talented. Um, and I knew that if we stayed focused and true to our goal, like I really thought it was um, a possibility that we could come away with gold. And um, that's exactly what we did. And talk to us a little bit about the position you play. Uh, in my later years, I've retired to being in goal. Retired. I've moved back to being a goalkeeper. So I feel retired like I'm retired to being in goal. Wow. I know that's the wrong word. <laughs> I mean, moved back. I used to be a striker. Hello. Now I'm a goalkeeper. Anyway, look, right. there's a goalkeeper <laughs> union, isn't there? There's a way of playing, and it's a lot of pressure as a keeper. As, like I said, you had an excellent tournament, made some big starts. But can you describe for us what it's like being at Wembley and having to make saves like that in front of all of those people? Because I get scared down at the local goals trying to make saves. <laughs> I think the hardest part about goalkeeping is that um, you are needed in moments and it doesn't really matter how it happens. You've just got to make the save to keep the team in the game. And that sounds really, um, I don't know, like a weird way to put it, but the, uh, it's the hardest thing to articulate how hard goalkeeping is because there's no right way. Everybody does it so differently. Um, and I think it, it is a very it is a very pressurized position, but but I absolutely love it. I wouldn't want to play any other position. 
um, it's just, it's the best feeling when you can help the team. But of course, like th- th- those moments are, are big pressure moments, but that's, that's what I've been training for. Um, and unfortunately this, this tournament, it, it, it came off and I was, my, I was able to help the team. Yeah, man, you played really well, as I keep saying. Now, I know you're from Nottingham. You're actually from West Bridgeford, I think, which is where I grew up as well. So we've got a little connection there. Really? Now, who was your goalkeeping Where's he being massive idol? in the house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, Bridge O. <laughs> now, who was your goalkeeping idol then? Mark Crossley? Oh, I don't know. You know what? Um, I, I grew up watching a loads of different goalkeepers, but probably mostly in, in, in the Premier League. Um, and I like to try and just... I say I just watch so much goalkeeping, so much football that... I just try to take, not, not try to take bits from every single one, but I try and take inspiration from every single one because um, there's no way I can, I can do all the things that they can do. But um, I think it's just important as a goalkeeper that you try and develop your own style, but definitely had a, had a lot of goalkeeping inspiration going up, you know, whether that was Manuel Neuer or Buffon or to Stegen or, um, you know, Pepe Reina, um, all these types of people. Joe Hart, you could see us. I could go on and on and on. I just used, I just love football so much, and I watch it as much as possible. Um, and I love watching football and goalkeeping at the highest level, and it's just so much fun to see. Yeah, absolutely right. And you named some great keepers then. So look, you say you're on your holidays now. Are you going to be watching football because the Premier League starts in a couple of days, doesn't it? Or are you going to take a bit of a break from the game? Yeah, I would love to sit here and say that I'm going to be football free. There's just absolutely no chance. Um, I'll definitely be putting the Prem on as soon as it's on. Um, but for now, I'm going to go dive in the pool outside because I am dying to get out in the sun. <laughs> All right, you crack on, Mary Earps. Congratulations. Thank you so much for talking to us. Um, please pass on our congratulations to the entire team and uh, good luck for the World Cup, which we hope you will bring home as well. Thank you very much. Great to talk to you. Nice to talk to you. Thank you.